flanked by Russia's exclave of Kaliningrad to the northwest and its ally Belarus to the southeast. The strip of land that runs for 104 kilometers or 65 miles is the sole land connection between the Baltic states and NATO's European members. The land corridor is seen as vulnerable as an invasion would cut off the Baltics from the rest of the alliance. U.S. and British troops carried out the first large-scale NATO defensive drill in the area last week. This so-called Suvauki Gap is an incredibly important place for both of our countries as well as the North Atlantic Treaty. This strip of land, which has been recently mentioned in both of our countries, but also in the European and world media, divides Kaliningrad, so the exclave of Russian Federation and Belarus. And there is nothing to hide here, that's why it is guarded by the armed forces of NATO. Many people in Poland, Lithuania and around the world ask themselves the question if this place is safe. Ladies and gentlemen, together with Mr. President, we decided to come here, to both the Polish and Lithuanian side, to show that it is safe here. Lithuanian President Gitanas Nauseda said it was important both countries continue to build up defensive capacities and train with forces in the area to keep it safe. I think it's very important that our actions and plans for the security situation meet very well, and there is even more attention, even more capabilities, even more plans and exercises, so that there is absolutely no doubt that this patch of land is defended and safe, just like President Duda said. This year we hear threats from Kaliningrad, from Russia, from Belarus, but we want to give a very clear answer right here and now. Don't even attempt to test our forces. NATO's borders are untouchable. Russia denies any plans to invade the Baltics and says it is NATO that is threatening stability in Eastern Europe by building up its military presence there and staging such war games. Lithuania in June banned the transit of goods sanctioned by the European Union across its territory to and from Kaliningrad, citing EU sanction rules. Russia threatened to punish Lithuania over the ban, and Lithuanian state and private websites were targeted by Russian hackers, who claimed the attack was retaliation.